Good afternoon, this is Pop. This is a video tutorial about Unicenta, the point of sale cash register program, which you can download for free in Linux Ubuntu. The topic of this video tutorial is refunds, and I'm going to show how you can give money back. There's an icon right here that is the refund icon. It's a triangle with an exclamation point in it. It does not show up as default. You will have to add this icon to the top. And the way you do that is to go into maintenance and after you go to maintenance you go to resources and towards the bottom there are ticket buttons. And I've done this before with other icons and I'll just show you that there are two places where you need to remove the comments. And here we go show icons and I have got refunded uncommented and that is going to show the triangle with the exclamation point icon in it across the top. There is another place where you will need to uncomment and that is right here text only where it says refund when you hover over it. Now I am going to go back to sales screen and I'm going to show you how a refund works. First of all we need to talk about what happens when you make a sale. It gets removed from inventory and you receive the customers money. When you do a refund that may or may not be reversed. You will be giving him back his money but in some cases you will not be returning the item back into inventory because it might be damaged or he might be dissatisfied in some manner. So let me show you what is going on with inventory in this program. This first item right here, brake lube, I'm going to go to stock and I'm going to look at current inventory. As it happens I remembered that the barcode number for this one particular item is 39 and I'm just going to run a report on this one particular item and it shows that I have got 10 of them in stock and I set a minimum and a maximum of 5 and 10 so I maxed out on these things I, I mean I have as many as I want to have on the shelf and if I sell one the units are going to go down to 9 if I refund one it'll go up to 11 so let me show you how that works let's just sell a couple. Let's sell five. Here are one of them is on for sale and I'm just going to bump it up to five and I'm going to say okay and he gave me 2165 exact change in cash and let's just look at the printer real quick. Yes he did in fact so let's go to stock and see what's cooking with the current inventory level of that one item. Run the report. See I've only got five left. So I should reorder, right? But let's go to sales. And the man shows up and he says, you know what? I bought a couple of them too many. So you give him a refund or two. And when you tap on this icon, the dollar amount turns into parentheses. And you can hardly see it, but right here where it, it says that there is one, actually you are giving him back minus one. There's a little minus in there. Now, I have to hit two, and that is going to be the refund. And when I hit equals, you want to make the refund? Yes. And in fact, there is even an invoice generated. And you can see the minus 2, and you can see the parentheses. And it even computes tax. Some of the money which you received back will go back into tax. And that's handled correctly. So let's go back to stock. And when we do go to stock, we're going to go to current inventory and we're still on barcode 39 so let's run the report 
and look at there two more got put back into stock so in this program the way it is set up right at the moment every time you do a refund the item is returned to stock if you give a refund and you are calling the item spoiled you will have to handle that in a separate manner and I will do that in a different video tutorial the refund levels uh, that you do each year should be at a minimum uh, caveat emptor is the Latin phrase let the buyer beware the current prevalent attitude in our society in business is that a customer can return any item on whim at any time and he is always the decision maker on this and it is never the store's prerogative to turn down a customer wishing to have a refund however I would beg to differ on that opinion and I would say since you are selling the products and you own the store you can set that yourself and if a customer says well I got the wrong color and it's the wrong size and two years have passed no you don't have to give it back to him that's up to you it depends on what you think is the best policy my name is Pop and I've got a whole bunch of video tutorials and this is Ubuntu Basics, and I'm talking about Unicenter, the point-of-sale cash register program, and I thank you very much.